Secular Rights is saying, I heard that apparently Turkey recently changed its name to, I don't even know how to, pronu how to pronounce this. That's uh, probably the same name, but in Turkish? No, no, no. They changed their name. I think it's Turkiye. Oh my God. If it's Turkiye, then it's always been Turkiye for us in Persian. Okay, so uh, I, I just heard that apparently Turkey recently changed its name to Turkiye. What do you think is the motivation and what do you think about countries changing their names on an international stage? Well, Aksimoran, I have good insight on this because I am also from a country that it changed its name uh, just one generation ago, right? And I remember the reason for that. Okay, so Iran on an international stage had the official name of Persia. And Reza Shah was like, you guys call it Persia. We don't call it Persia. We call it Iran. So internationally, it should also be recognized as the same name that we call it, refer to it as. Like Persia was the name that foreigners were giving to Iran. So we're like, why is that officially the name? The name should be officially what people call it. So he went Reza Shah, the first king of the Pahlavi dynasty, officially changed the name of uh, Persia to Iran. Okay. Um, so I'm assuming that maybe that's something happening over here because everybody says Turkey, but in Iran, we call Turkey, uh, Turkey. So I'm assuming that maybe they're trying to change the official international name to what they themselves refer to it. I'm, I'm guess I have no idea if this is the reason, but I'm guessing if this is the reason, what do you, what it, do you two think? Was it different names in different languages with Iran? What? No, no, it was just people in Iran calling it Iran and everybody else referring it to officially as Persia. It was like, you guys should call it what we call it. <laughs> this is like uh, Turkey in Arabic is Turkia. Okay, okay. uh -huh, and Egypt in Arabic is Masr. It's totally different. So uh, it might like have different names in different languages and then they try to make the foreign name, the name in the similar pronunciation oh. to the name in the language or similar name. Yeah, maybe, but if, um, yeah, but yeah, but they, I know that they, they so like Netherlands have different names in different languages. Germany has different names in different languages, but I guess they wanted to tell people outside of their borders that we decide what we're called, not you. Maybe something like that. <laughs> maybe Oxymoron, what do you think? Uh, I don't have opinion over this. I think uh, right. they should go with whatever name. I don't really care about names as much. Sure, as such. Unless it's okay. also similar names, so it doesn't matter. You guys know what Japan? What people refer to Japan in Japanese? How do you say Japan in Japanese? I think it's Nihon. Hmm. Nihon? It's something that people. Nihon. Like, did you even guess it? Like, I did, did you guys know Japan in Japanese? It doesn't even sound at all <laughs> like Japan. Did you guys know that? It's, it's Nihon. What hmm? the hell is Nihon? Yeah, here, yeah, Asian American. And that's similar with Nihon. Egypt. Must. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, who the they hell? Could go with, okay. They could go with uh, Turkey. That is Turkey. Yeah. Oh yeah! No. Wait. In constitution, Wait. we have a name for India that is called Bharat. So constitution defined as India that is Bharat. So you can have both. There's no issue with it. It's mm -hmm. actually let uh, others prefer what they want. Yeah, you're right. Like, why do they care? And why did Iran care? Japan doesn't care. Japan is not trying to officially make the world call it Nihon, right? Japan is like, fine, you guys. Like, we... like yeah, Japan has oxymoron's attitude. Like, they don't care. Like, you want to call it Japan? You want to call it Japan? Call it Japan. And we don't care. All right. So, <laughs> as long as I know what you refer to. Yeah, as long as we all understand what we're talking about. Nihon. Okay. Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest Blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.